Imagine a man boarding a plane, hijacking it mid-flight, and then disappearing into thin air, never to be seen again. This isn't a plot from a Hollywood film, but the real-life story of D.B. Cooper. This enigmatic figure, on a chilly November day in 1971, approached the Northwest Orient Airlines counter in Portland, Oregon, purchased a one-way ticket, and boarded a Seattle-bound flight. What unfolded next is a riveting tale of audacity, mystery, and intrigue. This unsolved mystery continues to captivate the world, even more than half a century later. On a seemingly ordinary day, November 24, 1971, a nondescript man using the alias Dan Cooper made his way to Northwest Orient Airlines in Portland, Oregon. He was dressed in a business suit, sporting a black tie and a crisp white shirt. His face was as unremarkable as his attire, but his actions were anything but. Cooper purchased a one-way ticket for flight number 305, a short trip north to Seattle, Washington. As he settled into his seat, he ordered a bourbon and soda, a choice that hinted at a man of taste, but gave no clue as to the audacious plot brewing in his mind. As the plane waited to take off, around three in the afternoon, Cooper handed a note to the stewardess. It was a moment that would forever change the lives of everyone on board. The note, a chilling revelation that he had a bomb in his briefcase, was a demand for her attention. Cooper was no longer just a passenger. He was a hijacker, wielding the power of life and death over the terrified crew and passengers. But this was just the beginning of Cooper's daring plan. The note was not just a declaration of his intentions, but a list of demands. He wanted four parachutes and $200,000 in $20 bills. The demands were as bold as they were specific, hinting at a man who had carefully thought out every detail of his audacious plan. The stewardess, shaken but professional, conveyed the message to the cockpit. The pilot, realizing the gravity of the situation, contacted air traffic control, and the plane was allowed to land in Seattle. In exchange for the lives of his hostages, Cooper received his parachutes and the money he'd demanded. But Cooper wasn't done. He ordered the plane to take off again, this time heading for Mexico City, keeping several crew members on board as insurance. As the plane took to the skies, the tension inside was palpable. The passengers may have been freed, but the hijacking was far from over. Little did anyone know that this flight was about to become a part of one of the most enduring mysteries in FBI history. Cooper was not just a hijacker, he was a man with a plan. A plan that was as audacious as it was unprecedented. After revealing his true intentions to the stewardess, Cooper unveiled his demands. He wasn't interested in political statements or grand gestures. No, Cooper had two simple requests, four parachutes and $200,000 all in $20 bills. Why four parachutes, you might ask? That was part of the genius of Cooper's plan. By asking for four, authorities had to consider the possibility that he would force one or more of the hostages to jump with him. This meant they couldn't risk giving him faulty equipment. As for the money, it was a hefty sum, especially for the 70s. But it wasn't an impossible demand. Once the plane touched down in Seattle, Cooper's demands were met. The passengers were released, a trade for the money and parachutes. Yet Cooper kept a few crew members on board ensuring he had witnesses and people to fly the plane. The exchange, however, was just the beginning. With his demands met, Cooper had the plane take to the skies again, this time headed towards Mexico City. With the hostages released and his demands met, Cooper was now ready for the next phase of his audacious plan. As the plane soared through the night sky, Cooper prepared for something unimaginable. The hum of the engines was soon to be replaced with the deafening silence of freefall. The cabin, once filled with tension and fear, was now a stage for one of the most audacious acts in criminal history. Cooper, with the collected calm of a man beyond suspicion, began to don his parachute. His fingers danced over the straps, adjusting them with a practiced ease. This was not the act of a desperate man, but rather a calculated risk-taker who dared to challenge the impossible. The money, a cool $200,000 in crisp $20 bills, was securely fastened to his person. A fortune destined to take a plunge into the unknown along with its new, untraceable owner. The jetliner, once a symbol of modern comfort, 
had transformed into a launching pad for his daring escape. The rear door was opened, exposing the cabin to the biting cold of the high altitude. The wind howled, an ominous chorus heralding the audacious act that was about to unfold. And then, a little after eight in the evening, somewhere between Seattle and Reno, Cooper did the unthinkable. He stepped to the edge of the open door, peered into the abyss, and leapt, a human silhouette against the moonlit sky, descending rapidly into the dark wilderness below. The pilots, left in the now quiet cabin, continued their course, their minds filled with disbelief and relief. They landed safely, but the man known as D.B. Cooper had disappeared. The night swallowed him whole, leaving no trace of his passage, save for the lingering echo of his audacity. The hijacking had come to a dramatic end, but the mystery had just begun. The fate of the daring skyjacker, along with the ransom money, was lost to the night. The question lingered. What became of D.B. Cooper? He jumped, and just like that he was gone, vanished into the cold, dark night. The FBI launched one of its most extensive investigations, known as Norjack, in a bid to capture the audacious hijacker. A task force was assembled, hundreds of agents were mobilized, and a nation was put on high alert. The aircraft that Cooper had hijacked became a treasure trove of evidence, meticulously picked over by forensic specialists. Every inch of the plane, every scrap of material, was examined in minute detail in the hope of unearthing a clue that would lead them to the elusive skyjacker. Hundreds of people were interviewed, from the passengers who had shared the flight with Cooper, to the crew members who had interacted with him directly. Each person was scrutinized, each testimony dissected in the relentless pursuit of the truth. Leads were followed across the nation as the FBI left no stone unturned in their quest to solve this baffling case. By the fifth anniversary of the hijacking, the number of suspects had swelled to over 800. From seasoned criminals to ordinary citizens, anyone who bore even the slightest resemblance to Cooper's description was considered a potential suspect. Yet despite their exhaustive efforts, most were eliminated due to lack of evidence or solid alibis. One intriguing suspect, however, managed to pique the FBI's interest, Richard Floyd McCoy. A Vietnam veteran and an experienced parachutist, McCoy bore a striking resemblance to the composite sketches of Cooper. He was eventually ruled out due to discrepancies in his physical characteristics and the fact that he was not in the Portland area at the time of the hijacking. Despite their best efforts, the FBI was unable to crack the case. The clues were scant, the leads dried up, and the trail went cold. The mystery of D.B. Cooper, the man who had dared to hijack a plane and vanish into thin air, remained unsolved. A daring stunt that began as a headline-grabbing act of audacity ended as one of the most enigmatic unsolved mysteries in the annals of crime. More than 50 years have passed, but the mystery of D.B. Cooper remains unsolved. His daring escape and disappearance have since become the stuff of legends, a captivating tale that continues to intrigue us to this day. The man known as D.B. Cooper hijacked a commercial plane, demanded a ransom, and then vanished into the night, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. His audacious act has sparked countless theories about his ultimate fate. Did he survive the jump, or did he perish in the wilderness? If he survived, where did he go? What became of the ransom money? Some theories suggest that Cooper didn't survive the dangerous leap into the night. The conditions were harsh, and the jump was risky. Others proposed that he was an experienced skydiver who managed to land safely and disappear with the money. There are even some who believe that Cooper may have been a disgruntled employee seeking revenge on the airline industry. Despite an extensive FBI investigation known as Norjack, which considered over 800 suspects, the case remains open. The aircraft was scoured for evidence, leads were tracked across the nation, and hundreds of people were interviewed, but to no avail. The only solid clue, a canvas bag containing one of the parachutes given to Cooper, serves as a haunting artifact of this enduring mystery. Cooper's legacy lives on, not just as a hijacker who outsmarted authorities, but as a symbol of audacity and defiance. His story continues to captivate imaginations, making it one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in U.S. history. 
books have been written, films have been made, and songs have been composed about this enigmatic figure, all attempting to unravel the mystifying tale of D.B. Cooper. The legend of D.B. Cooper continues to captivate us, a reminder of the enduring allure of an unsolved mystery. Indeed, the tale of D.B. Cooper is a stark reminder that some mysteries, no matter how many years pass, continue to haunt us, forever eluding resolution.